Before we do the big reveal, magrika mo tayo from items 10 to Hippo. At number 10, Polly the Goat. 9, Dimitri the X-Rated Dog. 8, Rooster Got Talent. 7, Waku the Snoutless Dog. 6, Egot the Pig. 5, Omsin the Green Sea Turtle. 4, Blackjack the Talented Dog. 3, Jago the Hero Dog. And 2, Bertha the Hippo. And at number one, ang nanguna ang pinakasikat na animal newsmaker is 30 Dead Dogs. In December 2017, a dog breeder put 40 dogs inside a closed van with no aircon to transport them from Novaliches, Quezon City to a dog show in Marikina. Upon reaching the venue, some dogs were dehydrated, unconscious, or dead due to severe dehydration and heat stroke. A video of the 30 dead dogs went viral and triggered an outrage among dog lovers. Actually, isa ito sa napakalaking news sa mga pet owners, hindi lang sa breeders. Kasi yung animal cruelty dito napasok. Kasi magagandang aso to, hindi ito yung aso na alaga lang. And to think na namatay silang lahat dahil sa maling paghandle sa kanila. Naging newsworthy ito or naging viral to sa social media kasi it's something that tackles about responsible pet ownership and of course, animal welfare din. It's true, di ba? Ang hirap i-revive niya Tapos, yun nga, parang ang cruel-cruel naman. Tapos knowing na breeder yung gumawa. Parang naisip ko talaga, is, are the animals for commodity or as alaga talaga yung dating? I think a case should be filed against dun sa ano talaga. Kasi napaka grabe. Of course, animal welfare groups and advocates condemn the tragedy. And the owner and breeder of the 30 dogs that had died may face up to 90 years imprisonment and up to 7.5 million peso fine for violating the amended Animal Welfare Act. Bakit nagawa to ng may-ari? Hindi ba niya alam na pwedeng mamatay yung aso sa ganong proseso? Na bakit hindi man lang niya naisip na lagyan man lang ng fan? Bakit hindi niya naisip yung welfare ng mga aso? Kasi ngayong panahon, parang tumataas yung awareness ng mga tao na kailangan nating isaalang-alang yung welfare ng mga alaga natin. Hindi lang yan sila mga alaga natin. Parang party na yan sila ng pamilya natin. It's something na very, very important kasi it tells us na dapat maging mindful tayo always. Of course, ang mga aso, hindi lang sila commodity. They are some creatures na may buhay. So, kailangan maging aware tayo sa mga needs nila. It's a basic knowledge. Eh. Ang aso hindi pinapawi sa dahil ganapan dahil doon na lumalabas yung heat. So, di ba kaya nga minsan pag sa bahay yung aso mo nasa CR, nakadapa or tutupukan mo ng electric fan tapos i-store mo lang ng ganun sa van na patong van. How did people react to this horrible news? Madaming nagalit. Madaming nagalit for sure. Kasi especially kung animal lover ka na huwag ka nang kumain Diba, para mapakain mo yung aso mo. Diba, imagine mo ang aso, pagdating mo sa bahay, ganun mararamdaman yung true love. Yung hindi fake love na babatiin ka, tuwan-tuwa, yung affinity mo dun sa hayop, tapos sabi malalaman mo, namatay lang ng... Diba? It's actually a wake-up call. It's a lesson for everyone na always, always be responsible. Ang naging effect din niya is itong breeder na ito, parang I think natanggal siya sa PCCI. So natanggalan siya ng license. So it's something na lesson nga for everyone. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top 10, everybody. Ang pinaka sikat na animal newsmakers. Again, let's help protect and preserve our wildlife so the next time they make it to the evening news or become a trending topic online, hopefully it's for something good. Many thanks, of course, to our guest panelistas. This has been your host, Revilson Fernandez. Please like us, add us up. We got a Facebook, we have a Twitter, we have an Instagram account. Here's the best part, we write back. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see next. This is your show. Next week, get your pens, notepads handy as we continue listing down the top 10 of anything and everything that's animal friendly. Dito lang sa paboritong listanong bayan ang nag-iisang ang pinaka. Mm.